Aries, come on in. Put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. I've kind of been looking at my uh, videos, the ones that I've done and, and which ones are doing the best out of all the videos I've ever done. And uh, it kind of looks like the ones where you're feeling really negative emotions are uh, doing the best. Which means you need to transmute those negative emotions. We need to turn those bad feelings into good ones. So, what's making you cry, Aries? Let's turn this around, shall we? What's making Aries cry? don't cry come here and cry but don't cry but come here and cry that's what you say when somebody's crying on your shoulder you're like you pat them on the you stroke their hair they don't cry it's okay that's what i'm saying don't cry but cry okay cry it's all right but don't cry all right aries yeah i got gotcha. you i'm getting i'm getting the vibe Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading, okay? You're only going to get me if you book me via my website in that link below. There's no other way. I'm not going to come to you, okay? Promise. If I do, it's not me. It's an imposter. <laughs> Don't fall for it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Anyway, I've done all the uh, YouTube blurb. Come here, loves. Come and give me a hug. For reals. Tell me what's going on in the comments below. First card out. It's not fair. I hear you, my love. It's all on them, isn't it? It's like the balls in their coat all the time. It can never be in yours. You can never sort of talk about your feelings. You have to skirt around that subject. You talk about your feelings and it's like they're out of here. It's not fair. You want you want to be in a connection with somebody that that means something it's equal but this isn't fair this is this is a situation where you're always stifling yourself and when you hold back that much and you repress yourself that much what do you think is gonna happen your dams are gonna burst eventually yeah you're gonna cry it's gonna hurt Use a page of pentacles here in reverse. We've not been very well recently. It's cold, something not, not, I'm not feeling something madly serious, but it's like not being able to get out of bed. I think it's kind of brought on a lot by repressing your feelings. So we're going to help you transmute this now. Why is this here? Uh, yeah. Right now, what's going on with you is there are consequences to you holding back how you feel. It's throwing you physically out of balance. No, karma in reverse, consequences. Ten of Wands. It's a heavy burden you're carrying. But more 
than that, it just, it's not equal. It's not fair. You're, you're not being considered, your feelings. You're not being considered that you're important and you are. You're very important. It's like you just have to keep going, isn't it? It's like they just expect you to just keep, I don't know, plodding along, holding your burdens and, and your feelings aren't important to them. They are to me. Come here. Come here and cry. Don't cry, but cry. Oh, mate. Tell me. Tell me in the comments below how you're doing. I'll answer you. Don't worry. I do. I have insomnia. So I stay up at night answering everybody. This is not working. This is a relationship that isn't working. This is not a relationship. Tell me more right now. This person is using you. What are they using you for? Fill the void in their life. Uh, they actually, wow, that's interesting. So um, I guess, I guess that, you know, you're a pretty spiritual person. You're coming in watching tower readings. It means you've got a lot of good spiritual energy people take advantage of you have you noticed that is that a pattern in your life where people just sense that goodness in you and they're vampires they just suck it out of you and leave you with nothing this is kind of what that person is this is they they take your energy they, they zap you of your love and your strength and your positivity and uh leave you with nothing that's what they're getting out of it what are you getting out of it my love five of cups it's just loss all you can see is what you're losing what you don't have that's what you're getting out of it it's just a sad card can't see what there is wonderful to look forward to. And frankly, in this connection, my love, neither can I. <sighs> it's more of the same. Just, uh, I don't see how this is working for you. <laughs> I got that shuggy dog hair, you know, like those the big fluffy sheep dogs that <laughs> have their hair in their eyes. Oh. Time I had a trim. Anyway, let's move on. What's coming up in the near future? We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Why is that Knight of Swords in reverse here? This is like... Sorry, my light's going out. This is someone who, if this is them, they don't care about the consequences of their actions. They just go for it anyway. So why is the Knight of Swords in reverse here? So we've got the Six of Swords in reverse. This is about not being able to let something go. We've got the Five of Wands in reverse. This is avoiding conflict. This is the Four of Cups in reverse. And this is kind of about... It's, 
it's sort of a how do I explain this it's more of an emotion than anything that I'm getting from this this is like this is someone who's avoiding the consequences of their behavior and they're just like well, it doesn't matter it's not about me so what does it matter it's like a sort of a snooty kind of feeling here Oops. they avoid the conflict of your feelings and like the, the with the knight of swords in reverse there this is just a lot of avoiding they don't want to give you up with a six of swords in reverse they they like you giving them what they need they don't want to give you anything back why would they it's not about them this is a selfish person okay i've seen 11 11 on the clock there Coming up in the near future. Can you see it yet? Can you see the pattern here and how it's not going to change and that you're not getting anything out of this? Can you see it? Does that, is it starting to make sense to you that this person's selfish and you deserve better? Is it, is it hitting you yet? Because it looks like it's about to. Set me free, why don't you, babe? Get out my life, why don't you, babe? You don't really love me, you just keep me hanging on. I'm doing the uh, vanilla fudge version of that, by the way. Because I'm cool like that. This is what they, they, well, they don't want to set you free. They are getting something out of this. They don't want to give you something back though. And that's what's going to come. That's what's coming in the near future. You're like, you know what? No. I'm the nine of pentacles. I am sassy, hot, fine looking, damn fine looking person. needs somebody filling the void that doesn't exist there's no void when you get that in your head that you don't need this person dragging you down pulling you down this is this is you right here this is you and this is you on your uh the energetic level that you're on and you're just like that when you haven't got someone like this pulling you down into their negative energy this is them they're like oh you're getting happy are you you're, you're not welcome blah, blah. they keep trying to pull you back and pull you back and that's what they've been doing all this time they've been keeping you in this energy but you realize this coming in the near future and you're like nah mate i'm up here and i'm going like they're like, come back, come back. And you're like, uh -uh. No. Best you can hope for with this person is that they are in charge. Bulls in their court. They're the authority here in this relationship. That's the best you can hope for. It's never going to get any different. The dynamics are never going to change. This is the way it is. Don't cry, baby. It's all right. I'm not calling you a baby. I'm calling you my baby. Come here. Don't cry. It's going to be all right. You just got to get into your nine of pentacles energy. And we're going to transmute this now. So we're going to take a deep breath. In and out. Where does it hurt for you? For me, where I'm feeling it for you right now is that heart center. My tree just lost a leaf. I'm feeling it for you right here in that heart chakra 
feels I'm, I, mm, it actually uh, feels swollen rather than broken it feels like big and swollen and it aches so we're gonna breathe into this part here <sighs> we're gonna transmute this pain and we're gonna think positive thoughts and positive feelings and what's been helping me recently is when I wake up in the morning, I imagine myself in a violet flame that doesn't hurt. It's, it's a very positive violet flame. And I toss all of those bad feelings, the negative ones, the ones that hurt. I'm in a twin flame connection, so I, Whenever I yearn for him, whenever I feel him pulling me back, I'm tossing those feelings into that violet flame that's coming from here and engulfing me. And I transmute that into positive energy and I send it back to him and I say, have a good day, my love. I'm not going to think about you today. Have a good day. And I imagine everyone in hundred mile radius of me is just you're gonna have a great day today because you're feeling my good energy I'm gonna put some good energy out there everything's gonna be great today's gonna be amazing you know because things are always working out for me right things do work out for you this one might not be but that's kind of how I, I work it for myself so we're gonna Feel that violet flame and we're going to toss all those feelings in there and watch them burn and exhale the smoke that comes from it, turn it into positive blue, violet, wonderful, white, light, whatever color makes you feel good. Turquoise kind of makes me feel good actually, yeah, but yeah, let's go violet. You ever like look at a colour and go, oh my god, I'm so happy looking at that colour. That's kind of turquoise for me. But uh, anyway, we're going purple here. So we're going to let them go. And now this is your energy. Now that we're doing this, now you're getting into your Nine of Pentacles energy. This is you. This is you walking away from what doesn't serve you, this person. Okay? And the universe is saying, does it really matter what's going on in their life? Forget about them because you got this coming. Don't worry about them. You need to think about this. This is your outcome. You need to think about this. We're going to turn that frown upside down. And we're going to go from this energy of not believing in yourself, of not feeling good about yourself because somebody's put you in that energy. And we're going to turn that around. And there's hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And you look amazing, by the way. Just look. I've turned it around. Now in the reading, it's not reversed anymore. Because we're going purple on it. Let's go purple on it. I think that's... Uh... That's my new thing. I'm going to say it to myself. So I'm going to start saying it to you. I'm going purple, mate. Let's go on a purple rampage and transmute any of that negative energy into beautiful violet, positive energy. So we've turned the star upside down. So there's light at the end of the tunnel now. There's hope. Not with this person. There is no hope with them because you deserve better, right? If you think that you could be happy with this person, if you think that you can, you're going to marry this person and settle down and, and meet all those wonderful goalposts and wake up in the night and snuggle into that person and feel content and happy. Yeah, that's, that's an illusion. That's never going to happen. This person is not your person. So... Let's transmute that energy because it's not going to happen with this person. You actually deserve better and the universe wants you to have better. Okay. 
So let's start feeling good about this, that you are nine of pentacles and you are great and you're amazing and you look fine. Okay. I'm going to take it into extended in a minute or I'm going to ask about this person. How do they really feel about you? Where are you in their heart space? How do they see you? Do they have any kind of respect for you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But let's, to be honest with you, don't watch it. Just get over it. Let's transmute. Let's go purple. Let's forget about them. Don't let pride get in your way. Your ego wants this person to want you back. That's all about, you know, that inner child that needs healing. You know, you've been rejected in your life or something like that. There's a great channel. She's called Jen Peters and she does these uh, like meditations on how to heal your inner child. It might be good for you so that you don't chase relationships that don't work. Surrender to the divine. Look how purple that is. And, well, your song is... Yeah, just keep me hanging on. What's that song called? But you gotta listen to the vanilla fudge re uh, version of it. I'm not gonna pull you another card. I'm not gonna pull you a love lyric. That's your song. Um... Okay, I'm going to take this into the extended. I hope this has helped you somewhat. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to watch the extended, which I don't think you should. I think you should just, like, let's let's start moving on, all right, my loves? But if you want to watch it, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the vid there. Bye!